For today's project, we'll be recycling this plastic chair. Since you guys loved the transformation of the previous plastic chair, so I decided to redo another one. First of all, I started by taking off the legs of the plastic chair since I only wanted to use the upper part of the plastic chair. Many complained about the stability of the previous plastic chair due to the legs, so I wanted to get rid of the legs of this plastic chair. So I had to take a measurement on the size that I needed to cut off from this plastic chair. After making the markings, I went ahead and took my hacksaw so that I can cut off the legs of the plastic chair. So it depends on the height of the ascent chair you want to make. So I had to measure 10 inches from up to get rid of the lower part of the legs of the plastic chair. I would love to say thank you so much guys for 1.2 million views on the previous plastic chair transformation. If you haven't watched that plastic chair, kindly go and watch. I'll put the link at the end screen of how I transformed the previous plastic chair. To my new members, my name is Roxy Nimis. I normally do home decor DIYs. If you're interested in more of my videos, kindly subscribe and also click on the notification bell so as to get notified whenever I post a new video. After cutting off the legs of the plastic chair, this is how it turned out. So I'll be working with this upper part of the plastic chair. To enhance my chair, I had to add some MDF wood on the bottom side. And to make sure it holds well underneath the plastic chair, I had to add some gypsum screw to hold the MDF board well underneath the plastic chair. I had made some markings in which will get me on the depth that the MDF board will get into the beneath side or the underside of the plastic chair. And then I used some hot glue to make sure it holds well before adding the screws on the top part of the plastic chair. Once the glue was dry and the MDF was in place, I went ahead and added some screws on the front part of the plastic chair. Reason for adding the MDF on the underside of the plastic chair because many people requested to make the chair the previous chair more stable because the plastic chair legs are not stable on slippery floors so that's why i had to get rid of them first and then to make my plastic chair more stable with this project i had to add some little bolts underneath to make it more strong for the project in this part I'll show you where I'm supposed to add the MDF boards on the sides and also on the back part of the plastic chair. So I had to cut some pieces from an MDF board I had at home and then I had to attach them on the underside of the plastic chair using some screws just as I did on the front board. On to my returning subscribers, I'd love to say thank you so much guys for the love, continue supporting Rock's enemies. As I post my videos, please watch them and also share with friends and family. Thank you so much guys. Many people ask why I used a plastic chair because it's just an easy way of maybe transforming some old plastic chairs you have at home most of them i know they have broken legs so instead of throwing away a plastic chair which has a broken leg you can transform it into this ascent chair that i'm about to make after adding the woods on the beneath part of my plastic chair i had to hold them well under the plastic chair using the screws
After adding the MDF boards beneath, the plastic chair this is how it turned out, so it's strong enough to hold heavy weights. On to the next part was adding the hula hoop on the front part of the plastic chair so as to give me the shape that I needed for my ascent chair. I used the biggest hula hoop available at our local market for this project so as to fit this plastic chair that I was using for my project. To make sure the hula hoop holds in place on the plastic chair, I had to add some screws on the top part. But sorry, I didn't notice my camera had moved while I was screwing the or while I was adding the screws on the top part. So I'll just show you how I added the screws on the top part. This is how it turned out. So I had to make sure it holds on well onto the top part of the plastic chair. Once I was done, this is how the plastic chair looks like beneath and also on the side to make sure the hula hoop is strong on the side so that someone can lean on it comfortably i had to enhance it with some boards on the sides i had to add some mdf boards as you can see this is how i added the mdf boards on the side so as to make sure the hula hoop is strong enough for the project to cover my plastic chair i had to use some cardboard i had at home but since the cardboard was a bit firm, so I had to make it easier or to make it easier to turn or to make it flexible. Let me use the word flexible. So I had to fold it into smaller um, parts so that it can be flexible while putting it on the plastic chair. Once I was done, this is how I placed the cardboard onto the plastic chair. And to secure it here, I had to use some hot glue. I had to add enough amount of hot glue so as to make sure the plastic chair holds on well onto the cardboard or the vice versa. The purpose of this DIY is just to help someone who wants to do some recycling at home. Because most of the items that I use they are easily available and I'm sure many people have them at home. So if you want to try this out, I'm sure you can access most of the items because the plastic chair, every household doesn't lack a plastic chair, maybe a hula hoop and also some cardboard. So it's an easy way of transforming things that you have around. Once I was done, I tried to cover up the front part of the ascent chair using the cardboard then the excess cardboard I had to get rid of it using my pair of scissors after cutting off the excess part of the cardboard the part which was lying aside, I had to use some hot glue to hold them in place. And this is how my plastic chair turned out after holding the excess cardboard using hot glue gun. And then on the opening, I had to add the cardboard. I used hot glue gun to hold the cardboard in place. After gluing down the cardboard all around, this is how my plastic chair has turned out. On to the next part was covering the lower part of my plastic chair. So I had to use a board that had cut into the shape that was beneath. I didn't have a jigsaw so I had to use um, a hacksaw to cut the shape. That's why my board isn't in line. But it will just do the the job that it's required to support my lower part of my plastic chair and also the purpose of adding the board onto the lower part is for the legs of the ascent chair that i i have to add to support my whole ascent chair i had to add another black board as you can see on the other first board so as to raise my seat a bit higher as you have noticed earlier i had cut my legs and my chair turned out to be very short so i had to enhance the height of my plastic chair by adding two boards 
on to the next part was adding the foam onto my plastic chair so i had to use this foam and also some contact glue that i got from a local shop normally we buy contact glue according to the money you have so that's why it has a different packing or the package is different so you go if you want a uh, contact glue measured for 50 shillings they'll measure for you so i had to use this contact glue to stick down my foam onto the plastic chair after 10 minutes once the glue was dry i went ahead and fixed the foam onto the plastic chair so you have to give the contact glue a little bit of time to dry not completely dry but to dry so that it can hold onto the foam well or anything that you want to stick using the contact glue once i was done i took off the excess foam on the sides of the plastic chair I did the same thing on the back of my ascent chair I just applied the contact glue gave it some times and then took my foam and placed it and then took off the excess part of the foam On the lower part, I had to secure the excess foam using my staple gun. So I had to secure it all round and then took my pair of scissors and got rid of the excess part. I did the same thing also on the front part of my swivel chair. I added some contact glue and then took some foam and covered the front part. Once it was done, I proceeded to the favorite part which was adding the fabric. So I got this fabric from a local fabric shop. For those who are interested to buy the same fabric, I'll put the contact in the description box. So this is how I'll be adding the fabric. First I started with the back part of my swivel chair or the ascent chair. Then took off the excess part that I didn't need of the fabric. To secure the fabric I had to use hot glue gun to hold the fabric in place onto the foam. You can use staple gun onto this part but since my pins were so small I had to use some hot glue to secure the fabric in place and also it's a cheaper way instead of using the pins. I preferred using the hot glue since it was fast and also it was easy to do that. Once I was done on the top part, I went ahead to secure the excess fabric on the lower part. I had to use some pins here since I had there's a board on the bottom part of the plastic chair, so I had to use just staple gun, the staple pin, sorry, to secure the excess fabric and to get rid of the excess fabric that I didn't need I used my pair of scissors to cut it off onto the front part I also did the same I used the same fabric and then I used hot glue gun to secure my fabric onto the ascent chair so first of all I had to cover to fold the edges into the shape that I needed and to make sure it's aligned onto the line that I needed the edges of the fabric to lie on. Once I was done I added my hot glue gun all through to secure the fabric. I did the same thing on the other side of the ascent chair. I secured the fabric using some hot glue gun. After holding the sides, I went ahead to secure the excess fabric part on the middle part of the chair. I had to try my 
staple guard see if the if the, the pins will hold on well onto the plastic chair but it was holding on to some parts and some parts it wasn't working because my pins were a bit short so i opted to use hot glue gun to secure the pin onto my ascent chair after that i went ahead and took off the excess part of the fabric that i didn't need using my pair of scissors I also covered the front part of the ascent chair using the same fabric so I had to make this design on the front part even though I wasn't liking the, the pattern I had just to use it to cover the front part of the ascent chair. After that I proceeded on taking the diameter of the sitting area of the ascent chair then I made a cardboard which measures 15 inches diameter as you can see it wasn't covering the front part of the ascent chair well but I proceeded on and making the sitting area of my ascent chair so I had to use this old form I had at home to make the front part not the sitting area of my ascent chair just as i did on the other form i used contact glue to stick down the form onto the cardboard once i was done i went ahead and covered my sitting the sitting form using the same fabric that i had made my ascent chair So this is how it turned out and after fixing it you can see I had to change the front part of my ascent chair so that the sitting area can be covered very well and this is how my sitting part turned out. I proceeded to the last part of my plastic chair transformation which was adding the legs of the ascent chair. I got these furniture legs from a local material shop i'll put the contact for those who are interested look to buy them locally i'll put the contact in the description box for those who want to buy the similar legs i had to use the spirit level to guide me on where to place the legs onto the lower part of my plastic chair don't love guys but it really helps so as to know the right position of placing the furniture legs for this project i had to use two different shape of my furniture legs as you can see the front legs are at 90 degrees angle while the back legs are slanting at 60 degrees just to fit the design for this ascent chair that i was making once i was done this is how the ascent chair turned out i even tested it to see how strong it is it can really support the weight of uh, 70 over 70 kgs because i'm over 70 kilos so i sat on it comfortably and it was so comfortable i really love how it turned out let me know in the comment section what you think about this beautiful plastic chair transformation that I've just made on my plastic chair. I just love how my ascent chair has turned out. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this simple transformation. Thank you so much guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe onto my channel and also to click on the notification bell so as to get notified whenever I post a new video. And guys, this is the ascent chair that I previously made using the plastic chair still intact. It hasn't broken yet. I love how it turned out and you can see it's still strong. Thank you so much for the 1.2 million views. Continue watching more of my videos and also subscribing to my channel if you haven't subscribed. All I can say is bye bye. See you next time for some new DIYs. And don't forget to subscribe, please, please, please remember to subscribe to my channel. Bye!